Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's great to see you here. Today I'll be talking about this because I found those photos I was looking for for so long. As you've noticed, I have slightly different background today and I'll talk about that later, but first we'll talk about this. This is my old very old 35 millimeter camera. I bought it in 1990 when I lived in the south of Sweden for a while. It came with a zoom lens, a 35 to 70, and it also came with a flash, a very handy flash that you can extend, bend. Unfortunately, this has died. <laughs> I don't know why. There's no residue in the battery compartment. Um, I don't know if I use bad batteries. So we'll see. I'll test with some new batteries later. But I think this flash is dead. It's a Nissan 220AC if you're a techie person. And this one is incompatible with everything. It is a Konica TCX and Konica has merged with Minolta so nothing fits on this anymore. <laughs> but I am going to see if it can take great pictures still. And I think my pictures now will be better than they were before because now I know a heck of a lot more about taking photos than I did in 1990. I do have some examples for you and I'm going to show you after I stop talking about this camera, which is now. Today it's really cold here, so I thought I'd include some more recent pictures from a digital camera as well. Today we woke up to minus 21 Celsius. That's minus 5.8 Fahrenheit. But the coldest I've ever experienced was when I was young and living in the north of Sweden. Then we had a day with minus 42 Celsius, which is minus 43 Fahrenheit. So it's not desperately cold. We don't hibernate. We don't crawl up in bed and do nothing. When it gets to minus 20, life still goes on. You just don't spend as much time outdoors and you dress appropriately. My hair is also really dirty because it's stupid to put it frankly, to go outside with wet hair and water on your face when it's this cold. I've put out extra food for the birds and squirrels and we made an improvised cat shelter with a warm blanket and some cat food for the stray cats that are around here so they don't suffer as much. Cats are desert animals that they're not made for this kind of cold. Thought I'd include that in the vlog since it happened today. The drawings and paintings you see behind me are part of an event I am doing from March 1st until March 14th, which is my birthday. I'm doing a pay what you will event where you decide what you think my art is worth to you. I'm doing this to clear out some space so I have room for more. All of my cupboards and shelves are chock full of either books, photos, or art, so I need to clear some out. And uh, this event will be run on Facebook. 
on my Facebook page. I've set it up already. You can go there and join and you'll get a notification whenever I post something in that event. The photos of the paintings will also show up on Instagram, Twitter and on my blog. So you have several places to take a look at them. Go have a look, see what you like and join me for that event. I would love to have you there. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on Saturday for an art challenge. Bye bye.